Congo, six to fuel shortages with new refinery. Welcome to the Business in Africa News Update, the place where you get all the latest news about business on the African continent. And if you are new here, make sure you click on the subscribe button to join the Business in Africa community. Don't go anywhere, keep watching, okay? Faced with chronic fuel shortages, the Republic of Congo is seeking to refine more oil at home. President Denis Sassou Nguesso on Sunday launched the construction of a new, bigger refinery near the port city of Pont Noir. The 2.5 million tons per year facility will cost 600 million US dollars. Named Atlantic Petrochemical Refinery, this unit will be built on 240 acres and must officially offer more than 5,000 direct and indirect drops. It aims to diversify and consolidate the industrial fabric of the country which depends essentially on oil, its first source of export. The project follows an investment agreement concluded in 2020 between the Congolese government and the Beijing Fortune Diheng Investment Co. Limited. The amount of the contract is 600 million US dollars, according to a parliamentary source contacted by AFP. But who did not wish to comment on Brazil's share of the construction bill? The refinery will produce automotive and aviation gasoline, liquefied petroleum gas, diesel, lubricants, bitumen, kerosene and others. Hydrocarbons Minister Jean-Marc Fister Shikaya said during a ceremony presided over by Congolese Head of State Denis Sassungeso, the new refinery is therefore an important link in the diversification of the economy in the hydrocarbon sector, he added. It is a modular refinery with a nominal processing capacity of 2.5 million tons per year. This capacity could be increased if needed, said Li Yonghong, president of the Chinese company. Congo's first refinery, the Congolese de Refinage Corav, in operation since 1982, has a capacity of 1 million tons per year, but officially, it only processes 600,000 tons annually, while the country's needs are estimated at 1.2 million tons. Congo produces 204,735 barrels per day of oil as of 2016, ranking 37th in the world. Thank you so much for watching that African Business News Update. And I hope that was resourceful, right? And if it was, don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button, like and share this video. And if you intend to invest on the African continent, then follow these two simple steps. Number one, download our books on Amazon Kindle. You've got the first book, which is the unique business idea for every African country. The second book right here is the African Business Startup Brain Box. The links are in the description box below. Just go right there and download them right now. And then after that, you can contact me on WhatsApp or call. Let's talk about your business. Thank you so much for watching and don't go anywhere. There are just so many other videos on this YouTube channel. So keep browsing and keep watching and keep adding value. Do you know the name of the island nation situated in the equatorial Atlantic in the Gulf of Guinea, second least populated country in Africa? <laughs> I always do this. Tick. Did you know it? It's Sao Tome and Principe. <laughs> yes, guys, I'm sure you guys never knew about Sao Tome and Principe, right? Yeah, for those who know, Sao Tome and Principe is like the second least populated country in Africa with just about 250,000 people, right? One of the very, in fact, it's a small island, just a very small island. But believe me, this country has so much potentials when it comes to business. Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'll be talking about the top five reasons why you should invest invest in Sao Tome and Principe and of course you are going to discover so much about this wonderful country Sao Tome and Principe so if you're new here you know what I do right 
make sure you click on the subscribe button before I continue talking and also drop me a comment because I'm doing this video based on a comment um, that one of you guys one of my subscribers had to drop to tell me please talk about Sao Tome and Principe and that's what I'm doing okay so drop me a comment as well so that I know exactly what you want me to talk about and I'll come back here to do that video for you okay my name is Rofo Chifu and I am the CEO founder of HRN Systems and what I do is I help a lot of people like you, investors, wannabe investors to get started on the African continent. Okay, my numbers on the screen, hook me up, let's talk about your business. Don't go away ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back after the break. Hello guys, hello my business in Africa YouTube community. My name is Rufo Chifo. I always talk about the best business ideas to invest in Africa. And I have been having a lot of questions from investors like you asking me which African country should I invest in? I therefore decided to create this. If you're an investor and you want to invest in Africa, then you need this tool. Click on the links in the description box below and download your own copy. Welcome back guys, welcome back to the Business in Africa YouTube channel and as I said right, if you're watching me for the first time, don't forget eh? at the end of when you watch, don't forget, don't go away without dropping me your comment to tell me which topics you want me to cover next, okay? I always do videos based on your requests, remember that and if you like my videos, give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, did you subscribe already? Thank you. Uh, you must be wondering why I'm saying thank you because you have probably not subscribed right i'm going to give you five seconds to do so one two three smash that subscribe button four smash it guys five thank you so much for subscribing i know you subscribe already right and i know that you're always going to come back to watch so now let's go into the top five reasons why you should invest in sao tome and principe but before i do that let's have a little background about sao tome and principe STP or Sao Tome and Principe is taking steps towards improving its investment climate and making the country a more attractive destination to foreign direct investments. STP is a stable, multi-party democracy and the government is working to combat corruption and create an open and transparent business environment. The 2008 Investment Code Updated in 2016, the Code of Fiscal Benefits and Incentives, the Regulation of the Investment Code and other business-related regulations approved in the past year provide a more modern, attractive and transparent legal framework for foreign investments. The Millennium Challenge Corporation Country Threshold Program implemented from 2007 to 2011 modernized Sao Tome and Principe's Customs Administration, reformed its tax policy 